Me. Seniak, how much money did you spend on roads? Seniak. Yes. 45 minutes of, I'll delete that, hang on, I forgot that, then I'll do that, hang on, I'll delete that. Seniak, I have an obsession with reclaiming land, Dubai. Am I a joke to you? Top three richest cities in the world. Number three, New York. Number two, Tokyo. And coming in at number one, Isle Town. Siniac works on more roads and junctions. Me, those empty spots in USA and Isle Town ain't gonna fill themselves. They could be used for housing or tourism. Which is why, Jack, we're gonna be doing that today. Guys, welcome back to the episode of Isle Town here in City Skylines. But today is the day that we finally build the beautiful big theme park in the United States of America. So we needed to build a zoo and I needed to build a theme park. Built the zoo in Oil Town. Today the theme park goes in America. And as always guys, if you are enjoying the series, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, but right now, this is the traffic situation. For many episodes, I've been working on it. Slight improvements here, there and everywhere. Sometimes I do a step forward and two steps back, but this is how it's currently flowing. It seems to be holding up okay. My new, latest addition is this little slip road that comes down here. To stop vehicles coming down here to get there, to get, you know, it's just a quicker route from vehicles coming from this way to, you know, keep this junction free. We have a little bit of traffic just here, but it's just the general traffic coming from the export area and the industrial area. But I'm kind of happy with now how it looks, so... Hopefully it stays like that, guys. Hopefully it stays like that. Um, I want to add the uh, the theme park over here. Now, reason being is because we have the split metro kind of connection between, again, the metro and the, the train line, which is uh, perfect for us in terms of bringing the tourists to the theme park. And it's slightly out of the way. So, you know, if there's any traffic going towards it, it won't be affected. And it's right off the interchange here of the highway and this one as well. So it's got really, really good uh, connections via public transport and road. I'm just going to get this road here to kind of finish and end up at the side just there. So, hold on. I'm underground. As always, guys, I'm freaking underground. <laughs> and we're going to bring this to here. And I think we'll take it to there. And we'll just create... Actually, let's make the bend a little bit further up like that there we go so it just kind of looks like it kind of goes out the region it's pretty sweet mate i like it i like it i like it so let's now then design that new region so it needs to be a new park that we kind of paint in um is it a park it is isn't it yeah and it will give itself its own name when we kind of place in what it's gonna be so if we go to the park right now go to theme park and we're gonna go for our main gate actually do you know what we should do I'm going to use this little road here as the main entrance. Let me turn the anarchy off there because we're going to have issues. Are you going to work? There we go. <laughs> that took a while. And I want to work with the, um, the car parks that we have. So if I kind of... Why does none of this... What's going on today? Is it because of this? There we go. I want to work at these car parks then. So we'll get a couple... Dro oh, no, that's terrible. What am I doing? What am I doing right now? That is shocking me. I think we'll just come off. And we'll do a couple of rows. And rather than connect it like that... We'll do... We'll come up there and go across... And come up there and go across, but that one's too close. Let's delete this one. You can see what I'm trying to do, or what I'm trying to attempt. Now, that one's a bit too close. I think it's easier just to kind of work off this. So bring that up to here, and then with the car parks then. So we've got that one there. So if I come up by five go straight down come out by five go straight down simple and then we'll turn that road there into a you know a simple plain road 
and that can be the little car park to the theme park which is going to be pretty damn good so all i need to do then is get in all of this there we go so drop you there drop you there and drop you there and hopefully i can finish up the little gap now so if i drop there there and there and i'm hoping i can finish up that little gap there with some disabled parking there and there and then the ev parking for the electrical electric vehicles there there and there so that'll be the kind of the car park to the theme park if that makes sense so then coming off that then we'll bring this down as well and connect it up and uh, if i brought this up to there like that just leave it as that and then that is like the entry point so then for the park the main gate can be thrown down just there beautiful beautiful so here comes emerson land now guys in the comment section right now give me some name suggestions of what we should call this brand new theme park um again it's in america i mean you could you could actually we could actually rename it off a real park like theme park in america but i'll let you guys decide uh like a name for it but it should be pretty dope and we're just gonna get now the path kind of we're gonna create like a basic kind of path loop in a way so let's come up to about there go straight up and across if i go into there bring that to there and then carry this down as if it was going in this direction and i don't want any side gates i just want that to be the main gate so bring that down to here there we go. So that would be like our little part, our path layout. And let's see what we can get going down then. So let's start then with the amusement plaza. We'll drop that actually here, which would be nice. We'll keep these for just a second. We'll start on all the rides. So we have like stuff like the little carousel there. We got the piggy train. There we go. We've got next then the rotating teacups which I'll squeeze these just here. Uh, the swinging boat. We'll get over there. We've got the House of Horror, which is spooky dookie. We've got the bumper cars. We've got the tower drop ride. And we've got the pendulum ride. So the ride's getting a little bit bigger now. We've got the Ferris wheel. And then we have our roller coaster. Now I'm thinking I'm going to get a couple of roller coasters in. So it make this the thrill zone. To kind of bulk it up a bit more. And then we'll do then our uh, amusement cafe. So I'm going to get three of these. Of each of these little like kind of. Um, not utilities. What, what, what would you call them? Well, the essential buildings anyway. Uh, the souvenir store. We'll place a couple of these in right now. So we're going to get one over there. And then one just up here. We've got the restrooms as well, which is really important to get in. And then we have these little corner pieces as well, the game booths. So all the little arcade machines that we can kind of you can kind of go on. So if I drop one there and there. Nice to fill that up. We'll do one there and there. And let's do one here and here so how does that look it looks pretty good there's still a lot of stuff we got to do but it does look pretty good doesn't it now i'm thinking then that i do a path like, not a path sorry a fence going around it the amusement park fence so if i came off that point there and brought this down to here run it all the way down Let's pick off or pick where we're going to be running this from. There, 
to there. So we got a fence that goes around the whole amusement park right now, which is pretty good. Very nice, very nice. And let's now then get in some trees. So I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go with... Let's see what tree we can go with. i got all this kind of crazy stuff I can throw in. But... Do a nice little row of these big boys. People are already making their way over. I need to change the parking restrictions as well. To make sure that they park in the actual car park. So I get those big trees just there, and then we kind of dot around now a few little bushes. So just dot around a few little bushes here, there, and everywhere to kind of bulk it all up. I, I can do like a little commercial zone just there as well. Uh, we want a couple of trees as well. And now that I've got the kind of pattern of where I want those uh, big boys, we're going to kind of create like a, a natural sound barrier. So it is a theme park. You're going to get quite a lot of noise coming from the rides so we're going to use these trees here as acting like a little natural sound barrier for the residential areas around and hopefully it will work if I drop the brush size right down and I'm just going to kind of go crazy becomes our ultimate adventure zone Alright, push that all the way up to there. I actually like this idea. Noise, the noise, noise, noise. And we just drop a couple in the middle. And then we need the the utilities. So we need the water. We're probably going to need power as well. Or actually, you know what? I don't think we do. What's power like? Yeah, it's all connected up, which is fine. So that gives it the water then. Let me just now set up the parking restrictions. So no parking on any of these roads. So hopefully then it put... Well, it will... I say hopefully. It will push them all to the uh, car parks. And then, uh, no parking restrictions around any of the roads leading up to it. Because they'll just park there and just kind of walk over. No parking there, there. Just coming up this road. There you go, so I can really push all the vehicles quite far back. Seems good. Seems good, good, good. So there's a lot of vehicles now on the way over. So are they on their way to the theme park? I think so. So let me turn off the traffic lights all here then. That's going to slow everyone down. Bring everybody in. So people are already on their way, which is pretty cool. Got the parking lot right now, which looks pretty dope. Oh, this is so good already. This is so good already. And, uh, yeah, so I wanted to get, like, a little commercial zone here. Let me bring this road down. So it's going to get rid of some of my trees, but that's okay for a minute. So if I do it like that, it's just a way to kind of bring shoppers over here. Because it's going to be like a tourist hotspot, really, isn't it? And let me get some of those trees back down. There we go. And I think we should get... I don't know whether we should get a bus route or, or this. Is, I think this is adequate, isn't it? Really. That should be adequate. In terms of bringing people over. Uh, oh, I now got to get the parking restrictions on this. So by doing that, I've kind of added more parking. But it's now close by. Sweet, mate. There's a lot of people walking over to the theme park. So... This is going to, it's, I'm about to say, it's going to cost us a fortune to kind of maintain it with the amount of rides we've got in there. So 2,600. And if we up our ticket price to the max, so we can charge maximums monies, 
And the amount of people that are walking in right now, we should then start to see the revenue kind of skyrocket a little bit as well. And they're going to love this. They're going to love this, mate. I'm telling you right now, they're going to love this. We've got a nice little commercial section as well. And it kind of really does fill up that little area pretty well. So let's get a few little extras here and there then. So I'm thinking a couple of rocks uh, and whatnot to kind of uh, bulk their area up. Let's see. So I can go with those kind of style. What other styles have I got? I can go for like the big like Wild West kind of rock types. we got some coral flooring. They won't really go too well. Um, but uh, I don't know whether to go like stuff like this. It looks. I know it looks so out of place, but then again, it's kind of what you get in like a theme park, isn't it? I might just stick with these normal rocks. All right, let's drop in one there. Some of these are a little bit big for my liking. Get those there. And then... Dot a couple of trees around some of the gaps. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's a crazy area, but it's like a um, it's like a big privacy wall, so you can't see into the park. You know, and that's one way how they make it private, so you have to pay to go in to see what you're missing out on. A lot of parks do stuff like that. They do, uh, you know, or they have like really big fences, but it also acts as like a little sound barrier from the residential area over there and whatever place in here too. Kind of makes it a little bit better for those guys. Uh, the park car parks are filling up as well, which is pretty sweet. That's really cool. And uh, yeah, we should start to see more people heading over here then. So already making 1,600, which is pretty good. And obviously as it ranks up and gets higher and higher, we can charge more money for coming in. How is the traffic holding up over here? Still going pretty solid. I think the traffic problems have been solved right now. <sighs> we got traffic, we got ship problems. We got traffic jams there, which is kind of crazy. How's the zoo doing? Still making cash money, Moolah. I love it, I love it. Uh, how is our little park here making money? How is our nature trail? Making money? Not a lot, but it's definitely making some cash. Anybody up at the top right now? Has anyone braved it to walk all the way up here? Yes, there's a group of people just there. Nice. Nice. I like it, man. This is the complete... Oh, we forgot about this one as well. That's making... So all our parks are making money. We're not, though. Somehow we're losing 140,000. Don't know how. Don't know how that's happened. Nothing's changed. Oh, I don't think the... Uh, I don't think Old Town Corp is exporting that, that much. Old Town Corp. It's down dramatically. What's changed? Uh, not enough raw materials. Hmm. You don't think the oil's dried up, has it? Where is it? There's too many trees there, isn't there? So it's kind of treating it like a forest. But there's trees there because we got rid of the pollution. Oh, that's not good. All right, let me uh, get rid of the trees just around here. Because Oil Town Corp is not liking it, boys. There we go. And we've got to now put down the oil. So it's got his raw resources back. All right, we got to watch that, mate. we got to watch that, haven't we? So, got your raw resources back, guys. We're injecting oil into the ground. Which they should slowly start complaining very soon. Right, we have a lot of vehicles parked along these roads, don't we? We really do. So we might, we might have to create, like, employee parking or something like that at some point. That could be a must. So while that money is so freaking low, that's the lowest I've seen it in a while because of, you know, they didn't have any uh, resources to pump out. So we have to give that a little bit of time now to start producing and making money again and creating exports. Hmm... I wonder how long that's been like that, and I just haven't really noticed it. Um, right, so we're now up to level two. We're now charging $24 a pop. 
which is good. People are still making their way over. It's all jazzy. It looks pretty nice. So I think I'm going to end it for now anyway, guys. And so we've got our theme park in. And now we're going to make sure that Oil Town Corp returns to making money. Because we're losing more money than we ever have done before. But, like I said, it's always one step forward, two steps back in Oil Town. It really is. It really freaking is. But hopefully the, uh, the theme park will do us justice and uh, keep rocking and rolling. Uh, they should start producing very soon. Not enough fuel, uh, not enough work. So they're, they're the, the ones that complain not enough resources are the ones that need the oil. And obviously, they ain't got oil because these have only just got oil to start producing. And then trucks will be heading out. So we might see an increase in traffic around these area then as all the oil starts going to other places. Damn, boy. Are those complainers on not enough raw resources? Are they're, um, yeah, they're the plants. So we've got to give that some time. And we don't even make any money until... Um, all the oil has been processed and whatnot. But it's slowly going back up. We're slowly getting there. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. We're now down to 111,000 that we're losing. 100,000 right now. So it is going in the right direction. We've just got to keep on top of it. So we might see a bunch of ships just arrive more than normal, which kind of looks like there's more than normal right now as they export all the goods. But everything seems to be going A-OK -okay at the moment. We'll just keep an eye on it. Um... Right, we still got a long time before... Oh, the, the Heavy Bird 2 was cancelled? Damn. I want to launch another Rocket Boys. But until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. <laughs>